I'm gonna show you guys why you should never shop at the mall again. I got all this clothes for $30. If I went to a mall and got all this, it'll be a cool $500,000. Yeah. 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 Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Harry, and I'm back with another lit video and today we're gonna go on a thrifting vlog with friends basically so basically i'm gonna show you guys why you should never shop at a mall again i'm gonna show you guys where is the best place to shop at let's get right into it bruh before we get into the video though make sure you guys leave a like comment subscribe and let's go We finally at Goodwill, bruh. We're finally here. We're about to walk in. We got like 30 minutes left before they close. Why we came super late. Oh, they close, they close at, at five? five. But then you said we'd have to go at six. Because they, they open every like two hours, but like I didn't oh. know they close at five. Bro, we're in here. That's what it looks like. There's just been. So you got to dig through all this clothes to find what you want. So like, I'm looking right now. You feel me? So like some of this clothes is like dirty. That's the only bad thing about here. But like you pay for the pounds. Like you only pay 67 cents per shirt. So it's a it's a W regardless. I thought that shit was hard. <laughs> so let me show them your basket. Alright, so I don't know, Sire found a how do I zoom? Look, if I stitch this on a pair of air forces, it's gonna be the hardest pair of air forces you've ever seen. What else did he find? Some sweatpants. I ain't found nothing yet today. The last time. Look at O'Neal. O'Neal's stuck in the same spot. O'Neal's trying to make a little Instagram post. Make sure y'all give him a like. Please do. <laughs> or follow your boy. O'Neal, sorry. Sorry, we'll put it up here. Did you find anything? He's one of those maskers who doesn't wear it right. <laughs> big nose. O'Neal found that. Show the people. Hey! Oh, it's light. It's light for you. I gotta take that off, bro. Yeah, there's a little stain. You found, what's this? It's a vintage Nike shirt. Some light. Tell them how much it is. 67 putting your, your hand on the lens. <laughs> Bro, I'm really about to get your pickle chin that boy. You said, let's go thrifting. <laughs> and you didn't want to thrift when we got here. She didn't touch nothing, bro. 30 minute drive. She's like, mm. she too bougie to thrift, that's why. To be fair. So let's go thrifting. She didn't keep nothing, she didn't want to touch it. No, to be fair, I thought it was like hangers, like, you know, like, uh, what's it called? Like the regular Goodwill. Oh, I can see. They're clean. They're cloudy. I wear it in the shower and I don't think it all. Bruh, I'm a college student. I'm a college student. You think I got money for some, for $70,000 diamonds? No, I do. Moral of the story, we drove 30 minutes to thrift because you asked it to thrift today you didn't and you didn't touch nothing okay and let's make a thumbnail what do you mean and let's make a thumbnail the drive was 30 minutes let's make a thumbnail i thought y'all wanted to thrift too yeah. i'm sorry i ain't gonna lie to you bro I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> no, let me get I'm just this. probably girl jeans, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Nigga, I'm still gonna wear them. <laughs> Wait, still who is it recording on? Oh. I'm still gonna wear them. It's O'Neal telling him he thinks those are girl jeans. <laughs> hey, um, I'm not gonna lie to them. I think they're girl jeans. Nah. Nah. It's 2021. Yeah, it's 2021, nigga. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You got nothing to say about it. You wear skirts all the time though. You just don't really show the camera though. Eight dollars. Should be around a hundred. Five hundred two dollars. Should be around sixty. Zero dollars. Didn't get nothing. 
Yo, we're back at the crib now. Now I'm gonna show you guys everything I found at the thrift, you feel me? So first, we got the long sleeve shirt that I got on. It's raw, it's like a long, it's like a, it has like a long neck on it, you feel me? But let's get into the other clothes that I got. Literally found over, I'll say over a thousand dollars worth of clothes for $30. Like it's crazy, it's crazy how the potential thrifting has, you feel me? Like you guys gotta stop going to the mall. I'm gonna show you guys. First off, we got the True Religion Dreams, you feel me? I think they're for girls, cause they a little wider, but I didn't know, I didn't know. I tried them on and it did not look right. But like, I, I'ma sell it, like I'ma sell it for 20, you feel me? Easy money. Second shirt, we got this cool little orange shirt. You wear these with some Jordan 1 shouted backboards, that's a fit, that's a fit, like come on. That's a commendable fit. Hey, if you know who Life Catch K is, shout out to him. Breaking off. We're on our alt wave, you feel me? We got this cool little graphic tee, full neck to the bottom, you feel me? Nothing on the back, but it's a cool little vibe, you feel me? Like, just something different. You're not finding this at a mall. Like, I don't know where you're finding it at. You might find it at, um, you might find it at Hot Topic. But, hey, it's still, it's still lit, I ain't gonna lie. And it's 67 cents, like, I got it for 67 cents. Like, I'm not really wasting money. We got a North Face hoodie, bro. We North Face hoodie, bro. Mint condition. It just looks a little vintage. That's probably an $80 hoodie that I found for under a dollar. Like, come on, bro. You're not doing that at a mall at all. You're not doing that at a mall. Next up, we got this vintage Nike Windbreaker. I'm trying to look for the logo for y'all. See, Nike Windbreaker. Hey, this is a cool $50 maybe. I think it's vintage. I think it's really old. This is an actual vintage shirt. Like, out of everything, this is actually vintage, bruh. It's way too big, though. It's like an XXXXXL. So I can't wear it, but I'm definitely gonna sell it for a cool 40. I got this cool little vibe. I got no shoes to wear with this, but I might one day, you feel me? I have nothing that's green in my collection. So just a cool little Oregon, like windbreaker, sweater. I don't know what you'll call this, but it's raw. And I got it for the low. Yo, y'all almost caught me slipping, bruh. I forgot one of the best shirts I found. So I found this little race car shirt. It's, it's probably one of the best shirts. It's a vintage race car shirt. This is where the heat's at. It's like a, it's like a Letterman jacket, bruh. It's a Letterman jacket. One dollar, probably, bruh, the fabric, if you guys could feel this fabric, you know it's expensive, it's cool. I'll say a cool 50 to 100 dollars. Got this shirt. This is probably one of my favorite shirts ever of all time. You feel me? It's a cool little tie-dye with screen print on it. This the shirt's raw. The shirt is raw, bro. Come on, bro. You can't you can't find this anywhere. Like you don't you don't see shirts like this ever. Look at the details on it, bro. Like come on. One dollar. Probably like a fifty dollar shirt. This is probably one of the rawest things I found. It's like a flannel coat. So it's like really thick on the inside. It's like an actual coat. And then it has like the fur on the inside. Don't know the price, definitely over $100. Got it for a cool five maybe, five at most. Three, five, something like that. So this is gonna make a good fit one day. All I need is the off-white sales, the off-white four sales. Make a, the, the fit will be nasty, bro. come on. I got all this clothes for $30. If I went to a mall and got all of this, it will be a cool, it'll be a cool $500 to $1,000. Over all of this clothes, bruh, I'm not spending 30. Like wake up, start thrifting. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey, and if you want a chain like this, hit me up on my Instagram. Uh, just stay tuned, you feel me? Just stay tuned. I'm not gonna see you guys again. In the comment section, let me know what the best piece I got was. I'm gonna see y'all in the next video, no cap. Gang. Okay.